Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna check out the best iPhone tripods in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and many more. To find out more information about these iPhone tripods you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality iPhone tripods according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Joby Grip Tight One Gore Lepot Stand. If I had to recommend a single iPhone tripod that's great for nearly everyone, it'd be the Grip Tight One Gore Lepot. It's small, flexible, versatile, and able to handle a variety of different shooting conditions. It's also very inexpensive, so it's a great option if you aren't yet sure what you're hoping to shoot and are looking to grab an all-around solid model. The Gore Lepot isn't very tall and doesn't hold up under a lot of weight. But for many smartphone photographers, that won't matter. Joby has been making flexible, inexpensive tripods for years, and all that expertise is put to good use here. This tripod has Joby's signature Gori Lepad legs, which can twist and bend into almost any configuration. You can attach the tripod to nearly anything, tree limbs, fence posts, you name it. Or you can set it on top of a table or other flat surface. It comes with a mount that fits most smartphones and a ball head that can be twisted in every direction. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Manfrotto Compact Action Aluminum Tripod. In many ways, the Manfrotto Compact Action is the opposite of the Joby Grip type. It's large, tall, and not suited to a huge variety of conditions, but it boasts greater reach and more stability than smaller options can offer. It has all the features of a truly professional tripod at a price that won't break the bank, and it's a solid option for iPhone photographers who don't mind a little extra bulk in their camera bag. Despite the name, this tripod is anything but compact. However, it is lightweight and travels easily. The pistol grip ball head is super simple to adjust, which means you can quickly position your iPhone to get the shot you want. Manfrotto sells this tripod with and without the red and black universal smartphone mount. Though if you're getting it to shoot with your iPhone, I recommend grabbing the bundle that includes the mount. The number 3 position is held by Bemro Tabletop Tripod N. Selfie stick for smartphones. Love them or hate them, selfie sticks are here to stay. While some people think they look a little odd, they do serve a practical purpose and satisfy a need for many people. This Benro tripod combines the features of a selfie stick with a traditional mobile phone tripod, and the result is an inexpensive, jack-of-all-trades device that's perfect for iPhone shooters looking for versatility and who don't want to purchase many individual pieces of gear. At first glance, this tripod doesn't seem like anything special. Its small size and unassuming appearance make it somewhat indistinguishable from other iPhone tripods, and it certainly won't win any design awards. But what makes this Benro an ideal option for many photographers is the extending middle column and the shutter button built into the tripod legs. In other words, you can use it as a tripod and a selfie stick, effectively eliminating one piece of gear from your camera kit. It's the perfect choice for photographers who like to travel with other people and who enjoy taking selfies or group photos along with smartphone landscapes and time-lapse images. Next at number 4 we have Peak Design Mobile Smartphone Tripod. On one hand, the Peak Design Mobile Smartphone Tripod doesn't really do anything that other options don't already accomplish. Many would argue that it's not especially versatile or flexible, and they cost twice as much as the Joby and Bemro options on this list. However, the genius of this tripod is that it's always attached to your phone, and as a result, it's by far the most portable option we can recommend, and that can make all the difference for iPhone photographers. The three diminutive legs fold out to hold your iPhone in either portrait or landscape orientation, and the tripod has a tiny, even cute ball head that lets you position your mobile phone just how you want it. Despite this tripod's limitations, it deserves serious consideration by every iPhone photographer. The number 5 position is held by Smalley Tabletop. Why recommend the Smalley Tabletop? A tripod that's similar in size to the Joby or Bemro but not as flexible? This tripod is different than the rest. Instead of trying to do many things, it does one thing really well. It sits on a flat surface and holds your phone steady. That's it. And for many photographers, that's enough. Not only is this pine-sized tripod sturdy and well-made, it includes a locking ball head that is suitable for a lot more than mobile phones. It can even perform double duty as a tripod for your DSLR or mirrorless camera, something the Peak Design mobile smartphone tripod is simply incapable of doing. Like the Manfrotto Compact Tripod, the small rig tabletop can be found with and without a mobile phone adapter. So if you want to use it with your iPhone, make sure you grab that essential piece of hardware. 
The number six position is dominated by UB size tripod S. In some ways, the UB size tripod S is eerily similar to the Joby. But while the two do share some characteristics, there are important differences to consider. This tripod's legs are able to bend and contort in almost any direction you can think of, which means it can be mounted on fence posts and tree limbs, Joby style. However, the UB size has a more versatile ball head that offers a bit more freedom which can be a big benefit for particularly picky photographers. The legs on the UB size tripod S are fully enclosed, which means you're less likely to get dust and dirt in the joints. This might not seem like a huge deal, but I own several Joby tripods, and over time this buildup can cause problems with functionality and overall durability. It's not a deal breaker, but it is an area in which the UB size has a leg out. This small, inexpensive tripod is easy to toss in a bag or backpack, and it can help you get the shot in situations when other tripods fail. Moving on to the next, at number 7 with Joby Grip Type Pro Telepod. This inauspicious little tripod from Joby may seem quite unremarkable. Its legs don't twist and bend like some of its siblings, and it doesn't have much visual flair. But take a second look, and you'll notice several tricks hidden up the Joby Grip Type Pro sleeve that firmly cement its place on this list of best iPhone tripods. For one, unlike most other options, this tripod has a middle column that extends to nearly 3 feet giving you a level of versatility that shorter tripods simply can't match. Then there's the remarkably flexible mounting head, capable of holding your phone at nearly any angle or orientation you can possibly think of. Finally, the legs are sturdy, but they are not strong enough to keep your iPhone steady in windy conditions when the middle column is extended. To my mind, that's not really a deal breaker, just something to keep in mind to help you manage expectations. The number 8 position is held by Mifoto Backpacker Travel Tripod. Some might take issue with the Mifoto Backpacker because it's not specifically geared toward mobile phones, but that actually gives it several key advantages over its more compact brethren. Plus, it still maintains important elements that make it ideal for iPhone photography. With all the legs folded, it's relatively small, not diminutive like the Peak Design Tripod listed above, but much smaller than most normal tripods. The Mifoto Backpacker includes a sturdy, versatile ball head and legs that can be locked in several different positions. When fully extended, it towers over every other option on this list and lets you shoot iPhone photos at nearly the same height as most people's eye level. You will need to purchase a separate mobile phone adapter, which is a bit of a downside, but they're relatively inexpensive. If you want a tripod that can accommodate nearly every possible iPhone photography situation and also stand up to weather and dust, this is the one to buy. Next, at number 9, we have KN M3 Section Tripod Smartphone Stand. The KN M3 Section Tripod combines the height of the Mephoto Backpacker with the lightweight quality of smaller tripods, and the result is a great option for iPhone photographers who want a simple, relatively portable solution that doesn't cost too much money, and it's specifically designed for mobile phones, so you don't have to get a separate adapter. While the KN M Tripod doesn't have a traditional ball head, the swivel mount is quite flexible and allows you to put your iPhone in almost any position you can imagine. The tripod doesn't win points for overall compactness, and some photographers will prefer an actual ball head that can be locked in place or easily rotated or swiveled. But despite those limitations, it's a great choice for photographers who value build quality and stability, and who also want the flexibility to shoot photos high off the ground. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Obinus TAT 20 Smartphone Tripod Adapter. This humble little item is a tripod adapter, not a tripod, but it does deserve its place on this list. In essence, the Open Apps to 20 Smartphone Tripod Adapter answers the question of which is the best tripod for iPhone photography with a rather practical reply, the one you already own. The Open Solid Metal Construction, Durable Rotating Mobile Phone Clamp, and Arca-style mounting plate give it a durability and versatility that are entirely missing on most other iPhone tripods. I have spent less money on similar adapters only to have them break at the most inopportune times, so the build quality of this one makes it well worth the price. That's all for today. We upload all types of phone and phone accessories products review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.